close your eyes and make yourself comfortable. Take a deep breath in through your nose and slowly and gently breathe out through your mouth. Again, deep breath in through your nose and slowly and gently breathe out through your mouth. One more time, deep breath in and slowly and gently breathe out through your mouth. Now imagine that you have roots growing out from the soles of your feet. Roots that look just like the roots of a tree. Very long and very wobbly. And you can hear your roots growing through the ground. You can hear them as they push their way through the soil. And it tickles just a little bit. Can you feel it? Can you feel it tickling you? Can you feel the soil under your feet? This is called grounding. And this keeps your energy planted in the ground so that you too can grow big and strong just like the tree, but push those roots all the way down to the center of the earth, right into the very heart of mother nature herself, where she will hold you tightly, keep you brave and keep you strong. Now imagine a beautiful white light surrounding your whole body, a light so bright that you shine much brighter than the brightest star. But it doesn't hurt you to look at it. And this light will always be with you and will always keep you safe. Now imagine that you are in a beautiful garden. And this garden has a very old brick wall running all the way around it. There is ivy and flowers growing on some parts of the wall and it really does look beautiful. You can feel the warmth of the sun as it touches your skin. And you look up at the beautiful baby blue color of the sky. You can even feel a gentle cool breeze on your face. As you look up, you see a few fluffy white clouds slowly floating past just drifting along with nowhere special to be, just like you at this moment in time, just drifting along with nowhere special to be. But here, right now, in this very moment. Now, as you look around your beautiful garden, you notice a doorway in the old wall and you wonder where it goes. So you decide to go and have a look and find out. You walk up to the door and reach for the handle. And as you do, you become very excited, wondering what on earth could be on the other side. You open the door, you step through, and you find yourself in a beautiful botanic garden. It's amazing. You see many different types of flowers, most of which you've never seen before. And some of them are just swaying gently in the cool, calm breeze. All of them lifting their heads up towards the sunlight and feeling the warmth on their little faces. The birds are chirping and chatting to each other. It's so peaceful and comfortable here. And you can smell the beautiful fragrance of the flowers and it's intoxicating. Then you realise you can hear running water. So you stand up to see where it's coming from. You walk along the gravel pathway towards the sound. And as you draw closer to it, you see before you a wonderful shallow stream with a pretty wooden bridge over it. The water is so clear and inviting as you look at it. And you can see tiny colourful fish as they swim on by. They look like they're having fun too, 
some of them even jumping out of the water, then landing back in it with a great big splash. How funny. This truly is an amazing place. Suddenly, you hear a rustling under the pretty bridge, and a little head pops up from beneath it. It's a spider, but not an ordinary spider. The spider smiles at you and says hello. And you're a bit shocked at this because you didn't know that spiders could talk. Well, this one can. How amazing is that? She tells you that her name is Leggy. And you think that's a bit of an odd name for a spider, but well, she does have very long legs and rather a lot of them too. So it kind of fits her really. Leggy tells you that her real name is Peggy, but she doesn't like it much. She prefers Leggy because she has such beautiful long legs. She likes her legs. She likes them so much, she's even painted some toenails on the bottom of them in a bright pink colour. Wow. Leggy brings the whole of her body onto the bridge. And you can see now that she's about the size of a cat. A cat with very long legs and lots of them. Now that you can see her properly, you can also see that she's wearing a pink frilly dress and has lots of dangly sparkly jewellery on. She even has very big dangly earrings on too. At first you were a bit startled because she's so big, but you're okay now because you now can see how cuddly she is. She also has a bright pink hat balanced on the top of her head and you think she looks really, really cute. You see that she is also carrying a big pink bag and she tells you that she has her embroidery in it. She just loves to do embroidery and she's very good at it. Leggy tells you that she has lots of children. She also tells you that she has lots and lots of grandchildren too and they are called little Leggies. You think that could be quite confusing if they all have the same name, but Leggy doesn't think so. Leggy tells you that she has her own pretty house with a white picket fence with lots of flowers that she likes to grow herself. She loves to garden. She thinks she's a great gardener. You think that Leggy is the most amazing little creature you have ever met. And you are so glad to be here. She asks you if you would like to visit her home. <laughs> well, of course you do. So you go with Leggy to her home to meet her family and see her beautiful garden. Leggy tells you that where you are now is actually the botanical gardens and she has lived here all of her life. She says there is no place anywhere it's nicer to live than here. You both reach her home and go inside. And you see a few other spiders in there and they all turn and smile at you and say hello. Big ones, small ones, skinny ones, plump ones, different coloured ones, black ones, brown ones, red ones, yellow ones. You didn't know spiders came in that many colours, but they do. Leggy tells you that they are a few of her children and you wonder just how many children she actually does have. You realise that Leggy is very wise and very kind and you really like her. She invites you to come and have a picnic in the botanical gardens with her and her little family. Well, very big family actually. Her children immediately start gathering up all that they will need for a picnic and Leggy invites you to help too. So you find yourself making sandwiches and bringing the orange juice. Leggy just loves orange juice and she tells you it's very good for you too. You all carry all of the food and the drink and take it to the picnic spot. The picnic spot, well, it's next to the very pretty bridge by the stream. How lovely. You all sit down to have your picnic and maybe watch the world go by and get to know each other better. 
So just sit with Leggy and her family and have a little natter. Leggy and her family decide to make a huge web, a web so big that they use it as a trampoline and they all have fun jumping up and down and they ask you if you would like to have a try, well obviously you do, you can't wait in fact. Leggy says that after you've all had some fun on the big beautiful trampoline web they will take you and show you around her beautiful garden and you can see what other exciting things they have to play on. Ooh, that sounds good. She says that they have a massive slide that comes out of a tree. They have swings made from webs that not only do they swing backwards and forwards, they also bounce up and down at the same time. They also have hammocks made from webs and they are so much more comfortable than human beds. Go and have some fun with Leggy and her wonderful family. Go and find what else they have in the garden. What other exciting things do they have? Go and see. Now wasn't that fun? Leggy says that you can have a sleepover if you want to and you really do because you really really like Leggy and her family they have been so kind to you Leggy points to a rather lovely hammock in the tree some of her children are already on their hammocks so she points and says this is where you can sleep you look at the hammock and you climb up onto it. You lay down and put your head on a soft, squidgy pillow and sigh with happiness. 
The pillow makes you feel so comfy and it smells so nice and fresh. There is also a big, soft, warm, snuggly blanket too. So you pull it over you and get yourself nice and comfy and relax. The hammock gently begins to sway from side to side. It's like it's trying to rock you to sleep all by itself. And your eyes are feeling a little bit heavy now. And your body is feeling a little bit tired. You have had the most wonderful an amazing day with Leggy and her family, her beautiful, kind family. You take a deep breath in through your nose and gently blow it out from your mouth. You take another deep breath and gently blow it out from your mouth. And you feel very sleepy now so tired, so relaxed, so peaceful, and so calm. You feel a gentle wave of sleepiness starting at your feet and you can feel your toes going to sleep. It feels all warm and tingly, ever so soft. You feel this soothing, gentle wave of sleepiness coming up your calves and your shins over your knees and you can feel it going up your thighs you think your legs have already gone to sleep you feel very tired now so sleepy but so very very happy you're just having a little rest after all that playing and it feels good the beautiful wave of sleepiness travels all the way up your body and down your arms and into your hands making your body feel very very heavy very very tired very very sleepy this gentle warm wave of sleepiness travels up your face and over the top of your head and down the back of your neck you feel so tired now, so sleepy, but you know you are safe, you know you are warm, you know you are loved, and you know you are very, very protected. You feel nice and warm and very snugly under your soft blanket and very squidgy pillow. So for now, just have a little sleep. You can play again tomorrow. You can see Leggy and her family any time you want. Because they're your friends now. And they love you. And they are so very, very kind to you. So night, night. Sleep tight, lovely angel. <laughs>